Well, hello everyone and welcome back uh, here. Uh, woo, woke up this morning. It is March the 1st already. I don't know where January and February went, but we are at 72 degrees already this morning. We got a small chance of rain. We had a small chance yesterday. Never got none. I really don't need no rain right now. I'm hoping it'll dry out. I'm uh, still messing around getting my garden ready. I ain't gonna plant this early even though it feels like spring and I notice my pear tree is putting buds out. Uh, the cherry trees are blooming and them cherry trees that I've got are wild cherry trees so the cherries on them ain't no good. They're what I call bird cherries. But anyway, we're going to do a kind of an advanced lap steel lesson this morning. I, I hope and I'm going to zoom in just a little more, but I hope, you know, that y'all can see the fretboard. And when we, we tuned up in an open E, I'll try to put it down there. I think last video I forgot to put it down there. But anyway, we'll try to remember that on early. But okay, so what we going to do today, we're going to play some old style uh, country music. And uh, kind of like uh, the 1950s style music. So uh, we're going to be kind of changing it up. I'm going to give y'all a demonstration how to do this uh, from the open string. But we're going to start off. The song that we play it in is in the key of D. And it starts off to kick off, and I'll show you some different kickoffs too. But the one here I play the lead part on, and I do the turn around and the break with the lap steel. And it's one of my favorite songs to play. And uh, when uh, Harold's here to sing, matter of fact, we should have recorded. He was over here yesterday, and we played music uh, for a couple of hours sitting back here and went over some old time songs and stuff. But anyway, it's in the key of D, so the the major keys in it is gonna be D and a G and a A. But we we don't play it like that, we spice it up to make it tall. So what I'm going to do is start it off with four licks, like this right here. See how I started the seventh fret, which is a B. Then I go, and I'm using the second and the third string, and then skipping over to the third and the fourth when I go. pretty that sounds and then I'll show you the uh, turn around where I pick out it goes like uh, goes like that it goes up to a E and F and then I go to a G and it goes While I hit that G, maybe one lick, I go back down to the other G and give it that. Uh, okay, so here's what we do. We're going to hit a B at 7, 8th fret, ninth fret. 10th fret, that's B, C, D flat, and D, right there. Then go over there to the E. Then skip down with your string. Now, when I'm going down to the G in the middle of the song, I use the third and the fourth string to do that. That's just one, two, three down. And then 
get back up to the second and third string. So. Part to go to the A, I'm plucking the third and the first string and raising it across like that. And when I end it back in the E to go to the next line of the song. But the, the song kind of changes up. Then in the break part, it goes. I went G and then back to the F and there. All right, and that's the way it goes. So, uh, anyway, y'all. Uh, we moving along to from the to from the B C Ah, that's a good thing to practice. Also, you do a lot of bar hopping. You could hop that in like Why we keep that song off? All right, and another kickoff on a song that Hank Williams sings is played in the key of D, and uh, you start like this. Go to the A. I'm raking across the three strings right there. And I like to give it a little. Simple, but it takes practice to get all this, and when it comes to the, the, the string change, you got to get the sound of your notes in there to know what string you need to hit, kind of sort of. I mean, because it wouldn't sound too good going. I mean, it would work. But it sounds better. Uh, right there. What I did, I went from the A to the B. I mean, yeah, from the A. And that's just the way the singing goes in the song, and you're following the singer, and you never want to overplay it, though.
practice that with somebody, you can get the timing down and all that. So anyway, it's a full chord startup. <laughs> fingers hit them strings first, keeping that bar on top of your fret. man pointed this out to me. He said, what if we were playing that song in G and there's only three frets? You can't do the fourth fret coming because you don't. Well, you can use your E open like that. But remember, we backing up this way from the D and from the E, we going back down because you can't go up no more to get to your C. So. I was using a G and a B flat and a C and a B in that and an E open like I stopped at the A and then went to the B flat. to the D. All right, now, I, we play it, he sings it in D, so that's why I pretty much teach it in D, but you can play it anywhere, I mean, you can play it in a A, back you up and count you. You just got to know where your notes are and how to uh, transpose is, is all there are to it. And if you don't know, you can look at your Nashville number chart and it'll tell you how to transpose. That's the purpose of the chart, is for musicians to quickly find where they're at in their music. All right, so anyway, if you practice that and learn that, I promise you, you'll be a better musician for it. All I'm doing is hitting strings one and two. 
Then going over the string three and four. And that's one, two, three, four, five, six in your string numbers, so you know. So then go to your G. Then to your A. And just slide in one fret from the top of it. Or you can hop it by doing that. And the reason you need to learn how to hop or slide, different songs, different style, you have to match your music with what the singer's playing and the rest of the music. So some songs are choppy like that, you know. Uh, So this song that we're working on is uh, not really choppy, it's more. Sometimes, whenever we playing, uh, I'll be playing just low, so low. Can't hardly hear me in the band. Then they'll tell me to do the turn around or whatever, or it'll be my turn to play. Then I'll get on it. Most time also when I'm playing out, I've got my volume pedal down there. And when I'm playing over in the band singing, I have it, I mash it all the way down and then I bring it up some. And, and then when I'm picking out my lead, all the way down wide open. Now I got this pedal wide open now. The amp's cut down a little bit because uh, we was playing some songs yesterday and he was playing acoustic guitar and I didn't want to overkill the acoustic picking. by hitting the uh, fifth string first, strum, then go back to the sixth string. Notice up there then I just played one string. That was on one string. 
actually too strange because I went. When I do that, I'm just skipping one string. I'm playing first and third string, second and fourth. Uh, third and fifth and fourth and sixth. And that's a good way to learn the string sounds, by the way. Or you could do it by a string pull up pink, but I used to start a I uh, usually start with the second and third. Somebody out there is getting something out of this lesson. I know it may be a little over advanced for some of you, but work on your uh, bar placement over the frets and practice your pull up of your first and second string. Like slow, do it real slow. Try to do it right though. See what I did? Just coming up to the 12th fret, slide back down to the 10th fret, and then skip over the strings 3 and 4. Then while you're on them strings, go hit the two and three and then skip over first then come and practice playing cross from two three and one string and give it a little rake across all three strings like that I did it different. I hit the uh, string one, two, and three then. Then come back. But it sounds better. for the first day of March. Happy uh, first day of March and hope each and every one of y'all has a great week and 
Y'all stay safe out there and practice your lap steel lessons and have fun with it, people. And i am see y'all uh, for the Sunday report if we don't do something sooner. Maybe the next time Harold comes over, we'll uh, actually do that song for you live and let you listen at it. How about that? All right, y'all take care.